Hey all, Doug Dean in the garage. You may recall a few weeks ago, got a new door for the old Cherokee here, and at that time I said I was going to be tackling some of the surface rust on this thing before it turns into rot. Today is the day we tackle that project. Now ultimately I'm going to take some bed liner all the way up to uh, this line right here to prevent stuff like this happening, but first I need to do something to prep this. Now I don't think I'm going to be able to get all of the rust off of this, so the best way to go about it start off with some of this stuff rust reformer uh, it doesn't require that you get all of the rust out like more paint if you paint over rust normally uh, you're just asking to exacerbate that rust you're gonna trap that rust trap moisture uh, rust reformer does a pretty good job of priming over rust so that is where we're gonna start but first gotta get as much of this stuff off as I can so I'm gonna pull out the usual suspects wire brushes and whatnot and get to work on this rust I already know if fans are butts safety glasses whenever you're doing sanding grinding anything like that as with any painting project, preparation is 95% of your results. So, once you have everything uh, down to where you think you want it, you're going to want to make sure you clean everything. I'm going to use simple green first, then I'll come back with some acetone and uh, make sure there's no oils or anything left on the Jeep. Uh, once you have everything clean, but before you go ahead and use acetone or, uh, you know, a mineral spirits or something, you're going to want to take a scotch pad and uh, scuff up the whole area, not just where the rust is, but the area around it. This is going to uh, uh, help to paint it here. I'm actually gonna do this whole area because after I do the rust converter tonight on these few spots, I'm gonna paint the whole thing with bed liner tomorrow. All right, obviously you're gonna wanna mask off some areas that you don't wanna get paint on. And for this application, I'm not priming the whole thing. Like I said, I'm gonna use the rust reformer on the spots that were rusty because I don't feel like doing the body work involved to uh, cut all that rust out bondo weld whatever so i'm going to treat this stuff like some primer just lay it on nice light coats as with anything else i'm going to do a couple light coats not one heavy coat anywhere where there was rust i'm going to give about 10 minutes in between coats let it dry a little bit do another light coat let it dry a bit do another light coat i will probably do three light coats with this stuff then i'll let it dry overnight Tomorrow morning we can use the, uh, the bed liner to bring it up to this line, obviously. And that, I'm thinking, should protect this metal enough that uh, these little rust spots won't, won't pop up as much. Alrighty, friends. It's early the next day. Uh, the rust reformer paint has dried. I gave the whole area a wipe down with denatured alcohol one more time to make sure there's no dust, grease, anything remaining there. I'm going to go ahead and shake up our uh, plastic coat uh, truck bed liner and we're going to get this stuff put on. I've used all types of different bed liners. Uh, Rust-Oleum makes one that I don't like the way it looks at all. It just looks like spray paint. On my WJ I have Herculiner, but after a year it faded to like this weak, dull black color. Uh, so I'm going to try this plastic coat by Valspar, see how we like it. Alright, <clears throat> directions call for two light coats, about 10 plus minutes between, so that's what we're going to do. Alright, now that I have that first coat on, I'm going to wipe down above the masking tape with uh, alcohol so that any overspray I'll get off now and it doesn't dry. You may not see it while the masking tape is on, but you'll take it off. And there'll be like a haze up here from the paint. Alrighty friends, I did the two coats 10 minutes apart as the directions for plastic coat suggested. I waited 15 minutes and I pulled off the masking tape as the directions suggested. Uh, I had a small problem with peeling. I, I think maybe it's above the humidity level it's supposed to be uh, for spraying this stuff. It wasn't huge. Uh, but I did have some areas that I wasn't super happy with. You can see right here it started peeling when I pulled the tape away. Um, I'm not really sure what the issue was there. I'm going to try to let it dry completely and then touch it up. There's a little pro tip. On the other side I used a utility knife to score the paint right along the tape line. Uh, you know like you would with latex paint in the house and I got much cleaner lines. So I guess treat this plastic coat almost like a latex. Other than the little peeling issue and the fact that I for the life of me can't put a, a straight tape line on something i'm pretty happy i mean it's got a really nice textured look um wasn't super expensive and cleans up the jeep a bit 
and certainly will help protect my rockers and lower doors from uh, road salt and crap in New Jersey. So, that is going to do it for this vid. If you got any questions, by all means, let me comment down there in the squawk boxes. I uh, hope you found the video uh, entertaining, amusing, maybe a little educational. If you did, by all means, like the video, subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Alrighty, the door panels came out looking exactly how I was hoping they would, so I decided to paint the uh, end caps there on the bumpers. I did use that Rust-Oleum bed liner on this, because um, I didn't mind having that uh, more spray painted look, plus these are already sort of textured. Uh, you can see though, the Rust-Oleum bed liner, I mean it just plain and simple looks more like um, spray paint than this stuff does, this bed liner looks much tougher and it just looks harder you know um pretty happy with the result brought a little bit of life back to the jeep there